Hi guys, here we go. We're gonna do it. The ESL live stream is on. Thank you for being in the live. Uh, so tonight it's a QA and a and well, whatever. If you're watching the replay, thanks for being here. I'll say a little hello over Facebook over there. Thanks for being in the live, live on Facebook and YouTube, as usual on the ESL live stream. I hope you guys doing good. Um, the last time we met, that was during the 200K uh, subscribers. That was an awesome live. We had a lot of fun. Uh, I know that some people uh, saying, yeah, oh, I can see the replay in certain countries. Yeah. Uh, even the replay of the replay, or even, well, I don't know what's going on with YouTube these days. But yeah, but for sure, uh, for during the, the live, it was, uh, there are many songs where I received some copyrights. Of course, I knew about it. I knew it would happen. It uh, doesn't matter. When you want to share a song, yeah, I know. Yeah, it's all good. So you can watch the replay. Uh, Sometimes on, on mobile phone, I don't think it's uh, available. But yeah, that was awesome. Thank you as well to the ESL Power family. Uh, and you are part of this family, of course. And also the different partners of Mike's Home ESL. That was awesome. So thanks for being in a live today. It's a Q&A. So just feel free to leave your question into the chat. And uh, here we go. Mike's Home ESL, live now on YouTube. The ESL live stream is on, so if you have some questions, uh, just feel free to ask me into the comment section. I know it's taking sometimes a little bit long, but here we go. We can try if it, if it works. Yeah, I'm just saying a little hello. Uh, oh, here we go. Hello, Mike. I'm from Brazil. Hi, Brazil over there. Thank you, Carol Silva. I guess you came, uh, you were in the live uh, once in a while, if I'm not wrong. I do remember your name called Carol. Um, probably uh, making it wrong. So we get, hello, Mike. I uh, know. God damn, Jenny's the singing nurse. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks a lot. Good morning. Yes, I know it's morning for you in New York. Thanks for being here. Yeah, she's right here in the house. The singing nurse. Thank you for being here. Down. Hope you're doing good. Uh, yeah, it was okay. It, it, it was good. Uh, I was, to tell you the truth, after the live, it was around a two hour, two hours and 30 minutes live. Yeah, this is really difficult. And what you plan is just like a class. I figure it out that lives are pretty much like a class, uh, like a classroom, like when you teach, when you are, when you go into a class, because <laughs> What you plan to do sometimes won't happen during the live. So yeah, was quite uh, quite difficult. Very tired for sure. The next day was a little bit of a hangover, of course. But yeah, everything was fine. Had to face it like supposed to do. And thank you so much to all of you for uh, for being part of this party. And let's go on. Thank you, Down. Uh, say a little hello to Stefan uh, Alexanya. Thank you so much for being in the live on Facebook over there. And if you're on Facebook, don't forget to give some likes. Uh, that will be awesome. So today is a Q&A. So if you can just leave your questions so that I can help you with your class. I will be more present in the live, uh, checking on your message, of course, because 
uh, last time I was really busy with uh, thank you know I had lots of people congratulating and also have been sharing lots of uh, tips from other teachers uh, that are helping the community in here so thank you yeah just write question and then um, your question of course so that I can see it in a live and I'll try to help you answering your question thank you so much uh, here we go Stefan Steph sorry <laughs> another Stefan I don't know so still you no okay 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 no that's my I got a problem greetings and congrats from Yerevan America thank you so much for watching brother in America I hope you guys doing good over there uh, I know it's not easy but really hope peace is gonna come back and hope everybody is gonna back to to work uh, even with this terrible coronavirus yeah it's not cool really uh, hope is not gonna come back again. Thank you so much for being in a live and yeah, stay at home, stay safe. Thanks for being in here, bro. Uh, Michael Salingumba, hello. Thank you very much, Michael, for being in a live. Uh, legend never die. Hello from Morocco. Thank you so much for being. I was just talking to a brother uh, before the live. And he's from Morocco too, and uh, I just because you know that on my social so if you are in China, or even if you're not in China, wherever you are in this world, you can go and download um, this app called WeChat. Uh, with this app, you can uh, contact me. It's pretty much a mix of. Uh, WhatsApp and Facebook so you can go and contact me for people living in China they know what I'm talking about but even wherever you're from it doesn't matter you can uh, you can download it and uh, so you can hear appearing in here is it on that one no I'm not sure oh yeah this one sorry uh, yeah my WeChat ID my some ESL and that's all and uh, so you can contact me and if you need help you can go uh, right away to me if, if i get time i can help you i get some brothers who i get some teachers who asked me they had uh, their first demo class needed some help a little bit cheer uh, sh cheering them up and uh, yeah and you know everything can go fine even if you don't have that much experience doesn't matter uh, you gotta feel your students you gotta um, understand what they like and what they don't like and during your demo class you'll be able to change uh, and yeah have a plan B C D E F G no not that much plans but yeah got a good plan B and C will be cool uh, thank you, legend. Never die yet. Like I said, from Morocco, I get a brother. I was wanted to send on this group because we have a WeChat group where we share resources, and there are awesome members in it. They are always helping each other all the time. I do help them as well when uh, I have time, and uh, which is nice is you always have someone trying to answer you and give you. Uh, the resources you need to help you with your class and so I wanted to send a little message in, in the group chat because I, I wasn't really sure if I would do a live tonight uh, as I got all the kids you know it's holiday I'm gonna be on holiday tomorrow night so yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome I, I can't I, I'll take a rest I'll still be here uh, because very soon, in like two weeks, two weeks or three, yeah, I want to make it quick. Um, online courses are going to be on where I'll be able to train you. Even if you are still at home and you want to come to China or whatever other parts in the, wor in, in the world, uh, I'll, I'll present you the worldwide uh, ESL market. But I will also go on... Uh, doing some lesson plans together 
uh, for especially for a demo class, which is one of the most important thing and what you guys have been asking a lot. Uh, of course, we will see some games and how to s use them in, in your class, which moment is nice to use that kind of game or this kind of game. So we will see all this into MySome uh, online courses, which will be unteachable and you will have some free stuff, but also the, there are also some, uh, because I'm going to be giving more dip uh tips that can really really help you uh with your class but mike saw me a sell youtube channel will still stay the same i will give uh one video a week as much as i can because get a lot of work of course and i will still be here trying to help you so yeah if you're in china or whatever in the world just go on to wechat and yeah i just made a mistake be before the live i Instead of say sending this uh, to the uh, to the WeChat group, I sent it to a brother uh, from Morocco. So welcome, brother. Bienvenue. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm gonna keep it rolling, and let's go back into the live. If you get questions, just feel free. Thank you, Timothy. Uh, hello, Mike. I'm Timothy from Uganda, currently in Vietnam. want to say thank you for what you're doing. Your material has been helpful to me. That's awesome, Timothy. Uh, wish you all the best in Thailand. I got a good brother. Of, uh, good. Oh. Now we're going to say sister. <laughs> uh, she's in Thailand over there as well. Uh, well, I used to have a good brother. I, I'm not sure if he's back there because, but um, I, I don't know if she's watching. She's also an ESL teacher. We grew up together back in France. She's from Britain. And yeah, I always love to go to their, to their home. And we always, I always trying to speak a little bit of English sometimes. Yeah, so very nice Thailand. It's really awesome, apparently, over there. I'd love to go and see for a while when all this COVID-19 situation is going to go away. Thanks, uh, Timothy. Uh, yeah, Michael is from Thailand as well. That's cool. T teaching ESL. Cool. Thanks to let me know where you guys are. Um, so, yeah, Timothy, you want to ask a question? Cool. Any tips? Any tips on how to handle an ESL class of young learners without teaching assistant? Uh, yes, you can work on something which is working very well. I, I don't know how many kids you get, but it would be great that you have your rewarding method ready. And that you divide your class into... Uh, two teams minimum, of course, uh, but would be good. Like, I, you might have around 30 kids in the class. So I guess probably you can divide them into, yeah, three teams. Better make it four. It all depends if you are teaching in a training center or in a primary school. Uh, it will be slightly different, but yeah, use your rewarding method. Divide your kids into class, into different uh, groups, so that when you give them points at the beginning right away, so that you can control them and try to, uh, if they are not doing good, say, "Hey, guy, be good. I right, raise your point," and. Uh, which is also very important. You gotta, they gotta know that they have some orders like uh, put your hands on my desk so that they know they, they have to be good. Uh, if you have really some students who are really, really disturbing the class, you can just ask them to stand up. And that will, I guess, that will uh, solve the problem. Uh, for some times, but yeah, it's always difficult without an assistant sometimes. Thank you so much, Timothy. Work. Hi, my, hi, my, hi, my, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, brother. 
FTC. Bit laptop. Yeah. So, you brother, welcome into the live. Thank you. And uh, try not to make too much of them. Lena Salum. Hello from Syria. And pleasure to follow you because you advise me a lot. That's great. Thanks. Thank you very much for beating the live. I really appreciate you. Thanks a lot. Hope you guys are doing good over there. And yeah. Uh, welcome to uh, all of you. That's awesome from Syria. Uh, very welcome, uh, Stefan. Here we go. That's uh, me and my wife are used to have wonderful experience in amazing China, but now because of lockdown, we can't get back. I just wanted to ask, how are you getting along? And also want to know. Uh, I want to uh, I want to thank you for your useful useful advice, which used very often. Um, well, you um, before I'm gonna go just a little bit up. <laughs> yeah, no, but before thanks for the question. Yeah, um, before COVID nineteen uh, in China, I, I was staying here. I never go back home during uh, whatever, if it's Christmas or New Year, even if it's a New Year in China. I never go back home. Uh, I just stay here, as my family is mostly Chinese. Uh, all my family here. I have a lot of uh, my wife is Chinese, so you can understand. Uh, I'll stay here, and yeah, I love it. I love the the, the Chinese New Year is quite really uh, something. So, and um, then here in China, we were quite pretty safe. There were nothing much uh, disturbing. That was okay, especially where I'm living I'm, uh, in Xi'an, the Terracotta. Uh, Wars Army, so that you can see here. That's why it's in the middle with the Big Goose Pagoda. I uh, forgot to put the light on. Oh yeah, that would be better like this. <laughs> that was for that was for the live uh, for the 200k live. So I uh, I was thinking about like, do I live or do I I, uh, I will pretty much change, uh, I guess, once in a while. But, yeah, it's all fine. It's representing all of you uh, in this world. And we need to be united. And thank you so much for your question, Stefan. Uh, wish you all the best. Uh, I hope you guys are going to come back quickly, come back to China quickly. Uh, this is really... Uh, an awesome place to live. People are very nice. Of course, you got assholes everywhere, but uh, yeah, that's quite pretty much safe and all fine. Far away from all what the media says uh, and what you can hear on TV and all that stuff is not the is not really the real China. It seems to uh, seems to describe China like being like you know terrible people but no they are really awesome and uh, china i really love it thank you so much brother um let me check it out fit bit locked up how are you doing good job bro i'm fine i'm great i'm wonderful i'm wonderful hello Hello, hello, how are you? Hope you and your family are safe during the crisis. Thank you very much, brother. Yeah, we are all good. It's all good. Uh, in China, we're back to normal. Nothing much to really, uh, really be scared of, except that it's sometimes coming back in some part uh, of China, but yeah, I gotta get ready for another wave in China, and I guess when there's another wave, even if it starts to uh, starts to come back again in some cities in China, it's just locked down right away, like two hours, and nobody in the street. That's crazy. 
<laughs> yeah, like down is say, so nice to see friends from Morocco, Vietnam, Thailand, America, Brazil. Yes, that's true. And never thought it would be like that. And I love it. And it's awesome. <laughs> Nations from all around the world. Great. <laughs> The three seven rules is useful for students. Seven M for reading. Seven M to discuss and seven M to ask questions after warm up. Yeah, I've never really went into that that one, but very interesting. That's why I like to be with people, uh, you know, from uh, different countries and uh, whatever you guys are from. We can just share what you guys have been because there's so many things, uh, and that's great that uh, here it can be not only a platform when I help you, but we we can help each other, and that's what uh, is that WeChat group uh, about. So yeah, just download WeChat and add me, and yeah, that would be really cool. I guess it would be. Uh, thanks. Yeah. All right. Love your work a lot, man. Thanks a lot. Uh, we get a question coming here right away. Yeah, it's a Q and A. If you just arrived, so if you got some questions, feel free to ask me. I'll try to help you. And other teachers in the in the chat can also help you. So yeah, uh, ESL family. Use of power. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love your videos and new ideas. Thank you, Yun Jin, for being in here. Question from down. How do you handle the goofball kid <laughs> who distract all the other kids? Stand up, brother. I ask him to stand up in front of everybody, especially when I don't have uh, an assistant teacher. It happens a lot because my teacher assistant, they know that I can speak Chinese. They know I can speak the Mandarin. So if they, if they don't want to, if they, they, they can mess up with me. I'll go, of course, I'm trying to speak more in English, of course, I will try and say, hey, please be quiet. Listen, don't play with this and that and that. And yeah, well, uh, you know, it turns out that they always have their books on the on the on the table, the pen, pencils, erasers. But uh, with me, it's going to be nothing on the table, just your arms and you look at me and trying to raise your arms not being like sitting uh, but yeah i get classes of 55 kids so they really have to be it's a tough job for uh, a foreign teacher because you got to make sure that everybody especially the school wants everybody to uh, open their mouth so they, that that's quite that's quite difficult it's not always easy trying to do education here when you have a great number of students in your class. And uh, yeah, mostly when I handle those kind of guys, those kind of students, what I'm going to do is uh, I, I don't want to waste time and telling him that he is not good. And you never know where he's going to fit in. Well, I, I don't want to play the dad and mom and being explaining him during two hours because I'm very busy. I got a lot of things to teach. So I'll be asking him, just stand up. And when he stands up, he knows that when the assistant teacher is going to come back, you know, she will be like, ah, oh, okay, come here. Then she will call the student, get out, and ask him, so what did you do in the classroom? Why Mike ask you to stand up? And 
if Mike asks you to stand up, there's a reason. So tell me. And then, so they, it's pretty much like that. When you get a class of 55 kids, you get uh, easy five kids who's going to be really difficult to control. So um, teachers always change their place in the classroom. But sometimes when they change them, <laughs> sometimes the most terrible kids will be all together. And that's a wonderful reunion. They're happy, they're playing, and yeah, they think I can't see them, but I can see everything in the classroom. And I always tell them, you know, I've been a student be before you. <laughs> so they, they uh, yeah, that's sometimes the way I handle them. So thank you very much, Down, for, uh, for your question. If you get any questions, guys, just feel free to ask me. Uh, Thank you. Here is Abdul Ghani Mus uh, Munasar. Sorry if I make mistakes with, with your name. It's not easy to pronounce people from that many countries in, in the live, believe me. Uh, hi, Mike. I'm new at teaching and I found a lot of difficulties. Please, can you give me a quick advice for beginners like me? Well, you when you when you arrive in the class in the classroom, especially the first day, if you mess up with the first day, it's uh, it's gonna be a hard time. But uh, you, like I said, you gotta bring up your rewarding method. <coughs> Sorry. When you start your class, you can do some warm ups. There are tons of them on, on Mike Somi SL. So that you can see when I when I do warm ups, I will see the kids who's going to be just playing in the back with the other with his neighbor with his class with his classmates and don't care about what am I doing. He's just standing up and then yeah, I can bump into the other, start to fight even. So you can see the ones who uh, very beginning of your class, especially when you are a new teacher, your very first class are very important. When you start, not only for new teachers, my point is, it's when you start with a new class, it's very important to figure it out uh, who are the, the kids who can be a great help in your class and the others who can be really making a mess of it. And from right the beginning of your, of your semester, trying to control them. Um, when you arrive in a class, I don't know how, how many students you, you have, but for me, a great number of students, if you can control a great number of students, other numbers, lower number is going to be easy. Not always, but yeah. Uh, if you can manage 55 kids, <laughs> 10 or 15, yeah, it's just like easy money. But... Uh, um, you're going to have a rewarding method, which means that you divide your class, like I was saying earlier, you can divide your class into teams and uh, write team one, or you can say Superman team, Spider-Man team. You can ask them what team's name they want. Uh, and then you can draw in front of them. You can draw like uh, five, five points. You can give them five points or you can give them one star. Um, I use, uh, I've seen some teachers building up some stairs like this. So you get team one and team two. When the students are not good, when one team is not good, uh, the team is going to go uh, a step up, another step up, the other team not good. Oh, you're doing good. Okay, step down. All right, but if you arrive at the top of it, you will, uh, it's going to be like two stairs, like right here. And in the middle, you will you, you're gonna have like a a, a toilet, <laughs> so you gotta draw a little bit, but it's easy to draw. It's just a matter of shapes, and uh, yeah. So they were drawing a, a kind of toilet. So where when when the kids will go up, 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 and if one team is really bad, whoop, <clears throat> fell into the toilet. Yeah. So. Uh, 
they won't be able to have a trophy or you can give them points if they are not uh, not doing it. There are tons of rewarding method. You can even, you don't need to draw. You can even have some magnets that you can use on your board. Uh, magnets are very convenient, but I guess how many magnets you need to have sometimes if you want to give them points it can be really because i give points easily at the beginning of my class so that i can control them uh, at the end during the class very quickly thanks a lot for your question i hope it's going to help you there's so many things to say uh you can go on mike so me SL and check out one video called uh, how to control your class yeah I, I think it is the name of the video I remember I got 300 videos a lot of videos that can really help you uh, so here we go let's go back and see uh, if you guys get questions thank you very much Abdul Ghani uh, English master thank you Hello from English Master Israel. Welcome, brother. The world is in the house, yo. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you very much. Incredible. Uh, English Master. Hello from English Master Israel. Thank you, brother, uh, for being in the chat. I really appreciate you. Um, here is uh, Alexa Hattig. I thank you for being in the chat, brother. I wrote today on your WeChat about my, what was that, kid demo. Your tips and advice is away, landed it today. Your demo video helped me a lot, so thanks. Uh, anyways, tomorrow we have another one. So, wish you the best. And, yeah, just take it easy. When you get a demo, when you get a demo class, I love demo class because it's, challenging because you get kids you don't know and they don't know you and you don't know them and it's pretty much everybody is oh, what is meaning what is and, and i love what i love to make them feel happy in learning so i always get some tricks and tips to make them feel uh, loving to learn english and at the end of your demo class when you have the parents, it happens a couple of times. I had the parents who who would, I would say, uh, I would finish my demo class, and I would say, I would say some words in Chinese, and thanking the parents and all stuff. And the parents would stand up and <laughs> give me uh, and clapping like that. You would have like ten or fifteen parents, just like it's incredible and. Uh, it's very rewarding, and it doesn't mean that they all gonna sign. You understand? It doesn't mean that <laughs> because some of them they they will pretty much look at the price and say, "Oh, man, yeah, he's good, but no, man, it's expensive." <laughs> and tuition fee can get really high in, in in China. I guess in Korea or Japan, it's even even higher. But yeah, during your demo class, you get to feel happy, being smiling, being active, uh, listen to the kids, pay a great attention on their behavior and what they like or don't like. When a kid starts to cry, you don't even know why, and just go right to, just, just run to the kid who's crying because the parents are here watching. And if one of the kids is, not, is crying and nobody cares, all the parents is watching. Hey, he didn't see that kid crying. Hey, what is he doing? Eh, the kid has been crying for five minutes. You know, you got some girls who are crying. Like, <laughs> you, you can even see. Well, yeah, yeah, you can see that. But your assistant also can see that. But yeah, sometimes, you know, uh, you really, even if your assistant is already on the, the kid trying to comfort the kid, you got to go as well say two, three words to her, okay? It, it, it's very important because she's probably scared of you. So you got to speak slowly. You know, you can scare kids just because your voice, uh, because you are very loud. So it, it can scare them a lot. 
And so sometimes, you know, when you see a kid crying, you know, they would be, yeah, okay, I'm going to lay low a little bit. Thanks a lot, uh, Alexa. Here we go on Facebook over there. Hello, Mike. Wish you all the best from Marina. Oh, I thought that was America for a moment. Um, uh, Armenia, sorry. Uh, hometown of Apricot. Oh, yeah, Apricot, sorry. Yeah, I'd love, I'd love to have some. I love Apricot. That's really nice. I miss my life in Chien. Oh, right. You were in Chien. Just like me. Um, but because of the lockdown, yeah, we cannot come back home to be there soon with those amazing people. Yeah, that's true. Everybody who went to China can say that they are bad people. I've seen so many bad people saying so many bad stuff back wherever it is in America, in Europe. Uh, all around the world, some people are just swearing on them. But, but, but for what? Are you scared of them or what? Just come here. You will see how they will, whatever you're from, whatever the color of your skin is, you will always be welcome. And they will help you like your brother you, you know since kindergarten. Great, welcome, uh, Hannah Ronian. Thanks, uh, and I am a new teacher, and I have a little problem to manage classroom. I need to be more patient. How do I control forty students becoming upset? Ooh. Forty students upset. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man, brother. Damn, you gotta be patient, please. Be patient. Uh, try to be funny. Uh, cheer them up. Put something right away, like a cartoon. Because when you get 40 angry students after you, man, yeah, <laughs> it's not good at all. Never happened to me. I had, like, I had... Uh, 160 kids running after me because they uh, I did a demo class in a primary school back in old time. They had so much fun. So when they saw me at the break, two classes, each class were 80 students, brother, in a primary school. <clears throat> and they had so much fun. So when they saw me in the school, in the, in the, uh, in the playground, they say, that this guy over there. And it was right, I was, uh, yes, in the playground, but very close to their classrooms, the two classrooms I had the demo, same demo for two classrooms. And they just ran after me. And I was like, what? That my students running for me? Uh, uh, whatever they like you or not, you... you you know they're gonna. Uh, some of the kids they, they they like to they like to slap my hip. They like to uh, even if they beat you is not. It doesn't mean uh, if they hate you like that. It doesn't mean they 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 hate you. It's just because they love you. They just want to touch you or they want to. Yeah, you're so good. You never know. Uh, you know kids when they're when they get crazy. So yeah, when you got forty kids in the classroom like that, not happy kids. Yo, yo, bro, just run. <laughs> but no, yeah, I'm kidding. But uh, yeah, do something that can, uh, yeah, you just come up and say, yeah, guys, let's play a game. And then you can play a game uh, with them, like PPT games that you can use if you have a, a digital screen, that would be really cool. Or even some other games if you have flashcards you can give a flashcards to each team so that they can pass 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 many things you can do just and probably running <laughs> just run sometime would be really cool uh yeah down genies you oh you get that you get that awesome yeah i was talking just about rewarding method and <laughs> she's got the toilet 
Yeah, yeah. You on your phone, huh? I don't have that kind of sticker in there in here. I love the steps and toilets idea because I like to draw noted. Yeah, when you love drawing, it's awesome. I've seen teachers, uh, I've seen a Chinese teacher. He was teaching only using drawings. Whatever he had, the content he had with key sentences he had to teach, he was telling them a story by drawing. He was not only drawing, he was like, hey, you guys can even tell me. He was like, the, it was very engaging. And I always think about that guy. I really love to meet him again. Uh, thought that he was gay, but doesn't matter. Um, he, he was really nice, really cool. Uh, never ever been doing some uh, stuff like uh, inviting me for dinner or slapping my hip like the kids but uh, i don't care about this it doesn't matter for me and uh some of my best friend again i uh, i don't care about this we're not gonna go on on this subject and he was really really awesome drawing all the time on the board and telling a story with to those students and he would he would the content which was uh, and what was uh, on the book was really different from what he was teaching and uh, but that that was something added to uh, it was the same key sentences and key words but in a different story and that was really awesome or he would use the story and make it hey what's going to happen next and the key would be like yeah yeah, me, teacher. Oh, that's a rub. And kids will be like watching. It's just like, and then reacting and then talking. And then that was like, whoa. Uh, yeah, that was like, uh, that was a long time ago when I was at, at Jordan's language school. That was really cool. Mrs. Abuela, when will you? <laughs> yeah. The F, I can tell you that, Mrs. Abuela, that the magic, the, thank you very much for uh, uh, saying, uh, talking about this, Mrs. Abuela, teacher in France. Thank you very much. Yeah, she is talking about the magic phonics book that many of you might do not know. Um, do working on a, a magic phonics book, I have lots of stories uh, in my head and, and, how to teach kids the right way especially teaching phonics so this is on another channel it used to be on my channel before uh which was called uh, the magic phonics book so now there are a special channel called the magic phonics book and that's for sure that many people uh do not know about this and you can go on youtube and download it and use it in your class. Kids are going to have fun. Believe me, all my students always asking me, hey, Mike, just like you, Miss Abuela, Mrs. Abuela, there she was, always asking me, hey, Mike, when your F is going to be going out? F is already down. It's somewhere in my computer where I got I to gotta edit. And each single video will take me around 12 hours in shooting because I shoot with a green screen. Many of you have been asking me, Mike, how do you do this? How do you do that? In your, uh, what was that? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, for the warm-up magic fingers. Uh, one finger, one finger turns, 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 turns to a worm. So you can see a worm coming from, and it's all using, uh, I'm using Filmora, and using as well uh, uh, an app and video edit editor called uh, uh, Filmora. And I'm also using a uh, green screen that you can find uh, 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 on YouTube as well. Some of them are free. Some of them you got to pay for it. But most of the, the ones I've found are free. You just have to uh, give some credits. And that's pretty much all about it. 
uh, and yeah, so we're gonna come back later, a little bit later about this uh, Magic Phonics book. F is ready. I'm figuring out. Uh, I guess I'm, it's gonna be more at the end of the year because it's too hot for me to shoot in a. You know how? But I'll figure out. Figure it out the time. Thank you, Mr. Buena. Welcome. What do you think about online teaching? Uh, I'm a classroom teacher, and online teaching is, to tell you the truth, is um, is really tiresome. You gotta be really active because you have that much space, <laughs> your screen. You know, so you gotta be really, you gotta be uh, working on your TPR even more than classroom teachers because you gotta speak with your hands all the time. You know all the time speak with your speak with your hands all the time <laughs> all the time that's pretty much it you're going to use tpr uh total physical response and yeah it, it's quite tough you know but each class is about 20 minutes but you got to keep up and yeah it's not easy believe me not easy at all and very tiresome uh, that's for sure. Uh, what I think about it, it's, uh, of course, is never going to replace classroom teachers because you don't have that feeling. Uh, you, a language is not only something that you translate from your language. No, you get a, you know, this is communication and communication is not based only uh, about what you say is not only a sound it's their feelings in it you feel people everybody has got his own bubble yeah if you go if you go too close to that person uh, you enter his bubble and he's gonna be like oh yeah uh, on online teaching is much more cold yeah and you don't really feel others and kids in front of the of the camera they're gonna be right like hey yeah uh, wait a moment i'm gonna go pee and then they really difficult to control for sure so uh result that we uh, there are many you know in in china students have been on uh primary school students and uh middle school students many of them have been on uh to, uh, they've been having classes online and the result isn't that good it's not too bad but it all depends on the teacher that you have in front of course uh, so if you have some skilled online teacher it's gonna go it's gonna be it can be okay but yeah for me you know i'm not a digital master i i, I do not love this too much so yeah, online teach no not for me. I'm not a fan of it, but yeah. Hi Mike, my boy four years old. Can you share how to make them concentrate learning from YouTube? He's keeping changing to watch Blaze the Monster Machine. Well, that's a good question, Dion. Uh It, uh, if he's keeping on changing, it's because he's not interesting in what he is seeing, in what he is watching. So you got to find my my daughter loved that Coco Melon, and she's always like, I want to watch Coco Melon. Um, and there are many songs she likes to sing along, and so it, uh, it, it's quite good. But. No, we just have to find what it's really good for her. That's pretty much it. And yeah, don't let her too much have this habit of uh, going on YouTube, watching some stuff. But uh, if she's watching educational stuff, that that's good. Thanks a lot for being in a live English master. I love you, Mike. Uh, your videos are easy to do, and the kids are crazy about. It. Hello, how are you? Fine, fine. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. That's that kind of uh, that kind of uh, warm up is awesome. Yeah, 
from Armenia to Uganda. Yeah, you said it all. Awesome. Welcome to all the teachers' family. Yeah, if we were talking about online teaching right away, my dear Michelle is in the house, yo. So if you need help with your ESL uh, online teaching, you can go like Mrs. Abuela, but she's just uh, tarted, uh, started a little bit, but you also have an ESL teacher, Michelle. She's doing really good for online teaching. Hello, Michelle. Thanks for being in here. Hope you're doing good. From America. Awesome. Uh, okay. Yeah, sorry. I'm just uh, pushing some buttons. I don't know whatever you guys are talking to each other. Well, Thanks to all of you. Hello. Let me go down a little bit. Hi, Paula Menezes. Hola from Mexico. Hola. ¿Cómo estás en Mexico? Muy, uh, espero que están bien y mucho cariño. Uh, que debes hablar un poquito español porque si me voy a olvidar el español, pero... Están bien. Soy muy feliz que están en el canal de Mike Somiesa. Muchísimas gracias y viva México. México. I used to be a tour guide for a Mexican folk organization back in 2000. Like two and three zero after that. That was back in France in 2000 when I was a tour guide for a folk uh, group uh, of dancers. They were around 60 and we were in Europe touring. They were having, uh, they were having, what do we call that, uh, shows every night. I would care about, I would care about sometimes hosting. <laughs> Even sometime I used to host their shows. Uh, they used to have like a two hours show. And uh, yeah, and we were in the bus pretty much two months. Uh, uh, two month, we've been together two months and yeah. That was a great experience. I can't wait to go to Mexico. Uh, I still have uh, their contact back in Mexico. Really awesome. Uh, Hivka, I feel sorry for kids when you're teaching online. I can feel them and they are easy disrupted. Uh, disrupted. <laughs> Losing interest on you. Yeah, that's for sure. That's what I was talking. Thank you on Facebook over there for being there. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Viva México. Viva América Latina. Porque mi hermano está en Ecuador y espero que estén bien. Mucho cariño a Ecuador. <laughs> oh. Oops. Oh. Uh, creo que voy a dar clase de español en vez de inglés. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. You think you're going to change your class of English to Spanish classes? You want to change? Yeah, why not? We're going to do... Uh, I can help you with that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I can't. My, my Spanish? Yeah, it's okay. Uh, okay, thank you so much, guys, for being in the live. Yeah, earlier we were with me, Sabrina, talking about uh, the Magic Phonics book. I have like one minute something, a uh, little, a little, how to call that trailer about Mike Som, yes, and about this uh, Phonics book uh, stories from myself, uh, just being creating some stories about it and yeah you can uh, check out the little trailer a trainer is really a trainer it's really great to spend many hours working on that one magic phonics book if we go Why is that right book? now magic phonics book what is it all about Nice. 
What is this place? The Magic Phonics book. Uh, if you want to go and check it out, uh, let me find the link. Uh, yeah, the Magic Phonics book is really awesome. Uh, well, it's okay. It's not awesome. Mike, you always say awesome. <laughs> uh, everything is awesome with you. Yeah, awesome this, awesome that. Oh, Mike. Yeah, no, I'm just going to give you uh, the link uh, of the magic phonics book so that you can go and check out of course i have very few subscribers very few people know about the magic phonics book and i have to thanks miss abuela to remind me and yeah i'm gonna be working on it uh for sure as many of you have been asking about online courses uh, create some online courses they're almost down also, those, um, the Magic Phonics book. But, yeah, to tell you the truth, I really need help. And, yeah, if I can get guys like uh, people who were in Xi'an before and who has that really, uh, how to say that, that Mike saw me sell like, fitting, yeah, I'll be happy to wait to work with you on those uh, trying to help me out with this channel because yeah it's not that easy but yeah and thing is i am it's also because of me because i want things uh they look like the way i i, I see it in my brain but it's difficult to explain to someone else and from everything i work from this to that to what are gonna be uh, what are gonna be the next video what is gonna be the this or that and i work a lot on feelings um mike told me so this is not something that is not a big con is not a company uh that is here to yeah bring a lot of content make money bring a lot of content make money no i work a lot on feelings and most important things um I, i'm listening to you and pretty much what i know you guys want more warm-ups more games more tips uh online courses uh keep on going with that uh magic phonics book and yeah uh i'll do that for sure but yeah, just be patient as you are all teachers i know i can trust you guys being patient on that one and I hope our brother from Syria is going to be trying to be patient with your students or they're going to run on you. Patient is one of the most important quality of a teacher. Hello, Mike. Thanks for your tips. Wilma Silva, thank you very much for being in a live. And uh, just going to say a little hello and goodbye. Is We're going to stop here. Mike told me yourself. The ESL live stream is here pretty much for only one hour. <clears throat> oh, and nothing to be like me, you know. Um, how many years of experience do I need to be like you? Uh, well, um, it's not being like me, you know. You can be far better than me uh, till you have that feeling and till you have that creativity and uh, i'm just helping here i'm not uh, i don't want to be like an example no uh, i'm just trying to help you because um, 
um, whatever I bring the tips I bring online you can you can turn it into your style in and use it in different ways using different content and yeah it's gonna be really awesome but um, uh, back in the day I would love to have uh, help like uh, not only me but all others uh, all other youtubers uh, teacher I'm thinking about uh, what I Andy the ESL guy Mushi ESL world uh, Mooncake English with Jema and of course my good brother in Xi'an uh, Tefl Lemons too from Tefl Lemon um, you know it, it, it's everybody has a different style and I would love to have all those tips when I arrive in China because pretty much I've been thrown in the classroom and say go teach <laughs> I was like what can't teach and it's too you know, no no it's, it's really really too difficult for sure And really very cute and engaging uh, magic phonics book Mike sold me a cell. yeah thank you very much down Janice for sharing uh, okay so it's gonna be uh, pretty much here for uh, it's gonna be it for today uh, thank you so much for being in the live uh, I really hope to see you very soon in another live. Uh, not that very, but probably uh, not Saturday, probably Sunday. Uh, what's going to happen next on Mike Somia? So I'm not sure if uh, I'll be able to give you uh, a video uh, on Sunday. But if there's one, uh, it's going to be probably a warm up. And yeah, I hope uh, you guys uh, safe, healthy, and remember what we learn with pleasure, we never forget. Peace and love to all of you. Thank you so much for having been in the in the live, uh, and I'll see you in another live. That was Mike from the ESL live stream and I'll see you in another video. Thank you so much guys. Thank you for being here. See you.